So today we've got a lawnmower here. We want to get this going, but we're having a problem because, well, before I show you this, I'll show you this. We're at the beginning of the season. You heard that? Turn a key, and there's not enough power in the battery to get us started here. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to jump start this. And I could go and get a jump starter or a, a um, battery charger on the other side and do that, but that's just not as cool. This is a little jump starter, a little portable one. These have become kind of a, a little salvation thing for my college student uh, children because they can keep these in their dorm room and then when they need them to go and give their car just a little bit of boost, they're good to go. This particular one is from Ava Powell, A-V-A Powell, P-O-W. And this little, little guy has a capacity of about 16,000 milliamps. So it's got a big battery. Basically, it's all battery. It has a couple of features on this. We've got our power switch. We have our light, which we can turn the light on. And, and actually, this is really kind of cool. The whole end come, turns on. And it does a variety of different uh, things with that. 12-volt outlet. That is hot pretty much all the time, which is great for jumping batteries, uh, but not so great if you would just uh, lick your fingers and touch it. Now, we push the little power button, and you can see it's got 100% charge. You push that button, and that will tell you what's there. On this end, there's USB. There's USB out, which is 2.0, USB 2.0, and then it has USB-C charging. So you can just plug it into any USB port. Obviously, a C charger that is faster will charge this faster. But otherwise, a regular USB 2.0 to this will allow you to charge it and get, get going. So this is a 12-volt riding lawnmower, and I'm going to go and get things ready to go. In the bag, it has the little jump-starting attachment. It has a little USB 2.0 to C. So you've got the charging cable and your instructions. So the way this works is you've got your little cables, you've got your little device, and what, once you plug this into this, it is energized. So my suggestion is first you would connect the two, holding this so it's not going to be touching any metal, but you connect the two, and then it's going to tell me I have a reading. And it's telling me I've got a low, a, a little bit low reading on that. Then I can plug in the power bank. Now it's all plugged in, and now it's saying that we've got a power source flowing to this of about 15 type volts. Uh, I'm going to give, oh, oh, give it a little bit of a little choke, and let's see what happens. And there we are. So we didn't have enough power to get it to to get it to go the first time, but the second time, once we've added this, it gave us just enough to be able to get it, spin it, and get it started. Again, this is AV Pow, A V A P O W. I'll put a link in the description below. But these are great little devices for if you need to have the USB charging, you can use this for keep charging your cell phone. I think this will charge a cell phone from zero to one hundred like three or four times. Uh, it's got a lot of battery support, but the idea with this is that you have it in your, your backpack, you have it in your car, whatever, and you have it as an emergency jump starter. If your battery's completely dead, completely, it probably won't do it, but if it's got a little bit, but not enough to spin the engine over, this could be the salvation item you're needing to get yourself going. Again, link in the description below. Thanks for watching.